So now let me talk you through a safe city case study. This is a city that we're working on at this moment with the customer. The customer isn't ready to go public yet, so I apologize that I'm not going to name the, uh, name the city. But we will, uh, we will do that uh, in the future. So let me just, just use it as an example. The evolution that they're looking for is that they do have humans watching screens, operator detection. They did put a lot of alerts in, so they've got a lot of systems in that are creating alerts. The challenge is they're actually being overwhelmed by alerts. In the London riots of 2011, um, the, um, the Metropolitan Police actually switched off their Twitter and social media monitoring service because they were getting so much information in, they were getting so many false positives. In fact, one police officer I spoke to actually told me, he was an assistant um, commissioner, uh, said he actually got an alert in from his wife telling him that there was a um, tweet was telling him that there was a riot in his street. And he said, no, 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 you live in this nice neighborhood, but check, and there's, there's nothing going on there. But people were getting so uh, panicked. So the idea is you need to correlate. So the, what the world is needing to head toward and what we're looking for is smart alerting. It's about data fusion correlation, and I'm going to talk a little bit about that and try to explain it in a, um, in a, couple, in a few minutes. First of all, what I want to do is also, of course, crowdsourcing becomes key. This idea of the fact that the consumer Remember St. Peter's Square and all that information can truly provide information and content in. So what we're actually providing is um, incident um, applications, the app economy that we talked about, for citizens that they're able to now report in incidents. And there's a standard template of incidents that they're able to, uh, to report. And guess what? This is not just pure safety. This is cleanliness. It's illegal parking. It's crowding. Right, we do a lot of work in crowding. We do festivals and big stadium events are very, uh, are very interesting uh, areas for us. They are miniature cities. They go through the crowding. And unfortunately, people get killed in crowds that go wrong. So being able to provide that, I talked already about traffic anomalies, but the idea is citizens can report as well. And this comes in, and we create the applications that do that, and also the tablet applications for the, the responders so that we can actually deliver the information out to the responders. The Internet of Things is not just about one way, it's about two way. It's about the ability to communicate back and forth. Again, why, does that, why is the network so important? Every time we talk to a city, we talk to them about how do you create a network. And I'd say over the next 10 years, I'd be very surprised if most cities haven't done what Barcelona's done and created a Wi-Fi network or a complete city network that allows you to then create new services and deliver to them. 